be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, Grenade Got to also known as the big cat. My cool cats put your paws up if you're rocking with the big cat. Carolina Panthers, first day draft pick, JC Horn. Welcome to Carolina. How do we feel about it? We'll talk about it. But first, before we get started, do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe? Do you love the Carolina? Are you still? <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> we didn't get. Uh, do you want? Uh, should we do? Uh, we'll talk about it. If you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, if you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, put your paws up. JC Horn, welcome to the Cacalax. Let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss the video. Look, whether you're here to troll, whether you're here to watch, whether you're here just because you like the entertainment, make sure you hit the subscribe button, man. Click the notification bell to all so you don't miss anything. All right, shout out to all the sponsors. Look in the description section. Anything you like over there, the link will be in there. Uh, shout out to Fan Fan Network, FTFN on YouTube. 32 investors give up the real from a fan perspective and fanfan.com. Be sure to check those guys out. Carolina Panthers took uh, cornerback JC Horn from the University of South Carolina yesterday with the eighth overall pick. Um, to some, it was a controversial pick. Uh, to others, it was a great move. Um, so I just kind of want to give my perspective um, on things. And um, listen, y'all, I know we passed up on. Um, Justin Fields, but we're, we're gonna do a whole separate video about that. All right, I don't want to overshadow this young man um, Dream that has come true. So let's let's not do that on this video. Okay, JC Horn um, Coming out the University of Carolina, like I said 6'1 205 pounds 33 inch arms and 9 and 1 8 hand size Initially I Gotta say this he comes from a great pedigree and Joe Horn Joe Big Little Horn, <laughs> a guy who has tortured us for years, but now hopefully we can make nightmares come true with J.C. Horn. Um, look, man, you could arguably say we got the best corner um, in the draft. You can make a case for it, but you, know, you, you can make a case for others as well. One thing I will say about him is he instantly comes in as a plug-and-play player. He definitely makes his secondary a lot better. Um, one of the things I have, you know, cried about, and a lot of things that you have cried about, is <laughs> the Carolina Panthers secondary being a gun show, <laughs> being target practice. Um, well, with this guy in the lineup, I think that becomes a lot more harder to do. Um, is he the only answer? I mean, is he is he the last answer to the puzzle? I can't say that either, but he definitely is a big part of it. Um, now you're talking about a secondary with Dante Jackson, A.J. Bouye, and um, J.C. Horn now. Um, and speaking of uh, J.C. Horn, he has received accolades from probably, arguably, the best cornerback in the game right now. You can make a case for it. Jalen Ramsey already has given his uh, validation as being a dog for whatever that's worth. And a lot of people are already comparing him to a young Jalen Ramsey from, from how physical he is, the trash talking, and all that good stuff like that. Um, I'll say he to me he's more like an AJ Abouye because of his versatility. You can put him in the shot, uh, put him in the, uh, the nickel. He helps out with the run support. Uh, he's very versatile, man. He fits a lot of scheme. He's a hell of a man press uh, cornerback. He also can cover it. You know what I mean? I mean he does a lot of things well. And um, fitter fitter hit on it um, during his press conference a while back about having a lift. At that cornerback position and you got to think him coming from seattle him having richard sherman he knows how vital that is there so um yeah man i, I like the move um at eight i don't think if we would have traded back he would have been there y'all okay the way the cornerbacks were flying out the board <laughs> we picked and denver pick they, i mean think four i think four cornerbacks went last night they were flying off the board like hot cakes at ihop so i mean for, for a need, we really address the need. In my opinion, you know, I think there's other cornerbacks in the draft 
They're not as talented as, as, as Horn. They're not as talented as Horn. Nowhere near as talented as Horn. Um, but I feel like you know there's a lot of depth at this position in the draft to where you still could have got a serviceable cornerback. But but the number one thing I want you guys to focus on is they wanted somebody to ready to be able to play day one. And uh, I think you got that. I think you got a guy who's ready to play day one. All right. The Carolina Panthers have not taken a cornerback this high since Chris Gamble. And all he did was become the uh, Carolina Panthers all-time interception leader. So, if that bothers you, then I'm sorry. I don't know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So, again, I'm, I don't want to get him too high uh, expectations because if he don't live up to them, um, I think you see, you'll see you'll see some rookie struggles. Um, and we'll talk about some of the things he does well and some of the things he struggled with. But um, you remember my guy from Ohio State that came out last year? He went to the Detroit Lions. I forget his name. Um, he came in with high expectations. We They took him high, and he struggled. He struggled mightily, y'all. Um, and he had some injuries and stuff, too. Um, so I, I can't really compare the two, but just from – one, both of them being rookies from that standpoint, you definitely will go through a learning curve, but that's where your physical talent and um, your ability to learn and stuff will help you out of those sticky situations, all right? Some of the things he does real good. Again, great bloodline here. Um, plays great in, in, in the coverage, man. A great in man coverage, physical as hell, and he helps out in run support, something the Carolina Panthers love to do their cornerbacks dating back for a while. As long as I've been a Carolina Panthers fan, you must be able to come up and tackle against the run. And that's some of the things he does well. Hell of a press punch, y'all. He's confident. Some people say he's a little cocky. Eh, you know. Um. Uh, at worst, y'all, he could be a he could be a D Jack when it comes to, you know, coverage. You know what I mean? Um, one thing, and what I mean by that, that's not that's not disrespectful here. What I what I mean by that is, he's so super talented. Sometimes he doesn't necessarily play with the greatest technique. Because he can, you're going to see this guy make a lot of fucking plays. A lot of plays because of his talent. I'm not even talking about his techniques or going through. I'm talking about just his talent alone. You know, so he, he definitely needs to be refined. Okay, I get that. You know, coming out of college, he has to be refined. But his talent alone will allow him to make plays. Now, the, the million dollar question is, will he be refined? Will he be able to, to refine those little things that can make him elite? Okay, so if he can, you're looking at a potential pro bowler. If he can't, you're looking at a serviceable guy. So I don't know. And, and, and it just time will tell. And it just time will tell. This is not a knock on him. Time will tell, y'all. Um, what else? Again, that size definitely makes it hard on defenders. Um, some of the things they struggle with, again, somebody mentioned this last night, and I seen it on tape. I, I've been up, I'm sorry, but I saw my eyes a little baggy. I've been out watching tape, and yes, he does get a little handsy, gets a little grabby. But to me, the reason why I feel like he's grabby is because he's such a competitor. He wants to do everything he can to make it tough. He wants to make it tough on you. So sometimes, you know, he grab it. If he can trust his feet more, you know what I mean? Trust your feet that you're in a good position to where those 33 and a half inch arms can put you in position to bat balls down. You don't. Sometimes you, you, you see it. You see it on tape. If he's in a situation where he feels like, oh, shit, this could go either way, he's going to get grabby. He's definitely going to get grabby. Um, but that's more so him just trying to be competitive, man. You know, he's he's a, he's athletic. He's talented. He's, he's too talented to, to worry about him grabbing. And this is where the cornerback's coach is going to have to break him of that. You know what I mean? Trust your feet. You run a fucking 4-3. you 33-inch arms. <laughs> your feet are gonna put you in a good position in your in your in your athleticism and your genetics. You being six foot tall, thirty three inch arm, uh, thirty inch uh, three inch arms, it's gonna put you in a position to where if you are a little bit beat, you know what I mean. You you have the athleticism and talent to get there. If he can develop that, this, these are the kind of things I'm talking about. If he can become more refined at that, he's gonna be a great player here, y'all. Um, again, man. Uh, let's see. He's not the best shadower going across the field and stuff. He does a good job, man. I mean, again, <laughs> he's not the best here. Uh, he, he he could develop more of a, you know, open those hips, become more fluid hips to where he changes direction there. Um, it could cause him to be a little behind. 
That's why, again, it, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3 or 4-2 or whatever. If, if, if you can't switch those hips, if you can't have lateral movement, lateral quickness, well, what does a 4-2, 4-3 do for you? You know what I mean? So little things like that got to be more defined. But overall, y'all, we're getting a hell of a guy. We're getting a hell of a guy here. Potential pro bowler, potential day one starter. He has minor things he needs to fix, minor things he needs to clean up, y'all. Um, and, and and again, there's no reservation about this guy to the point to where I see it on tape. I don't know some experts or whatever that grabby shit and him not being able to be, you know, the best change of direction guy and <laughs> shit like that. I think can all be worked out. It, a lot of that has to do with his uh, just trusting your technique, man. And again, at worst, at worst, man, you can see this guy make a lot of plays. A lot of plays. Like Dante did his first year. A lot of plays, you know what I mean, based off his talent. <laughs> He's just that athletic, just that talented, man. But if he ever going to take that next step to being the greatest or one of the greatest, he'll have to fix those things. Um, but I'm happy with the pick, y'all. Welcome to Carolina, Mr. J.C. Horn. And uh, we look forward to making magic with you guys. Um, A.J. Bouye, you know what I mean? A guy who I compared him to in his prime. Um, definitely can learn the ropes from him. Um, I mean, just think about that defense now. You know what I mean? The guys up front now, look at that back end. That back end doesn't look as bad as it, as it looks at first. You know what I mean? So, I like it, man. I like it. And, and, and hopefully, if you, if you don't like it, hopefully it'll grow on you when he start making plays, y'all. Um, I will do a Justin Fields video here in just a second. So, all right. But begin the comment section. Tell me what you guys think. Um... I'm excited. You guys should be excited. I told you guys before the, uh, I told you guys around Christmas time. Go look at the video around Christmas time. I said the Carolina Panthers will make the playoff at 11 and six, and their defense will be the uh, the reason. I believe in Sam Donald. I'm riding with Sam Donald. I'm not turning my back on Sam Donald. Um, he's here for a reason, as Matt Rule said. I'm your host, Renee Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up. If you're rocking with the Big Cat, get in the comment section. What do you like about J.C. Horn? What are your reservations? Man, you know how we do it, man. Stay tuned. Uh, make sure you go over to the comment section, uh, the community section. Go to the community section on YouTube and vote for the caller of last night. We're going to do a caller of the weekend. It's going to get a 32-inch TV, man. So make sure you all tune into the live stream today and tomorrow during the drive. All right? Head over to Patreon. Keep pounding TV on Patreon for exclusive content, exclusive giveaways, the whole nine. Let's get up out of here. Let the church say, Paul's up. Carolina on top forever. i like to take the time to thank the Keep Pounding underscore TV Patreon membership sponsors below. It is because of your contribution we have to create quality content. Please consider joining the channel. The link will be in the description. Don't miss out on your chance for watching morning live streams, film study, and much more. Right, the introduction, new EP available on all major streaming platforms, including the hot new feature, In My Bag. Quit renting energy and dealing with increasing rates. Get paid to go solar through federal and local tax credits. Own your energy. Add home equity. Fix rates that will never go up. No money down. A vote of power, now serving all of North and South Carolina. Tell them you've seen this ad on Key Pounder TV. They'll give you one year free, no payments. Be sure to contact the affiliate rep, Kevin Browns, at kbrown at avolta.us. His contact will be in the description. SeatGeek. For all your ticketing events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy them. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Ladies, be sure to check out Tori Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Trishana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. 
Trishana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the big cat. Pause up. You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.